Hi everyone. We're going to do a lesson today on graphing. I am sitting in my kitchen. I want to look out my back window here for a minute into the backyard. I hope you got a chance to watch the Eagle live cam a little bit and watch those parents with their baby chicks. It's really fun to, to see them. And we're learning a little bit about eagles this week, and I'm going to show you a method that scientists use uh, to classify data called bar graphs. We did some bar graphs this year at school, but this is a little bit more complicated than the ones that we did. So, But third and fourth graders, I think you'd be up for the challenge of this. And first and second graders, if you want to do this with your parents, you sure can too. So... Your parents are going to get some information from me um, in their email that's going to have some charts. And this shows the number of nesting pairs of eagles in the lower 48 states. It goes from the year 1963, and it doesn't follow every single year. There's not data for every year. So what it does go down to is 2007 this particular chart so we're going to do at least a partial chart just to show how the population of nesting pairs of eagles has changed over time now i have all my graph paper at school and maybe you do too um, if you have graph paper at home that would sure help you but if you don't you can do what i did and just use a ruler um, to make lines on some lined paper. So the th first thing that you have to figure out is <clears throat> what exactly am I going to be making a bar graph of? So I wrote that at the top, bar graph of nesting eagles. On this side, we're going to have number of nesting pairs. And down on the bottom side, we're going to have the year. Now, because these years were not consecutive, we skipped some years, I just picked out um, eight years spanning from 1963 to 2007. So these are the years that I chose. You can do the same thing if you'd like to, or maybe if you're a little more ambitious, you want to graph all of these years. You can sure do that. You would just need to use a couple pieces of paper probably to go all the way across if you want to do that. But I'll give you an example. So, I noticed that the largest number of nesting pairs here goes up to 11,000. So I had to figure out how to divide my paper so that we could get up to 11,000. And what I chose to do was to go by 500s. So we went from 0 to 500, plus 500 to be 1,000, plus 500 to be 1,500, 2,000. 2,500, 3,000, 3,500, etc., etc. So after 5,500 or 5,500, it would be 6,000, 6,500, etc. And you would write up until you got to oh, about 11,000 because that's the highest number that we have on our data. So you could continue this graph up to 11,000. Okay, so let's make a bar graph for 1963. So I look at my data here for 1963. It's 487 nesting pairs. There weren't very many back then because of some chemicals that the United States was using at the time was very, very hard on raptors, birds of prey. So we were very worried about eagles. They were extremely endangered. Now I've chosen to put that number just under 500 because I can't get to exactly 487, but I know 487 is pretty close to 500. So I put my bar there. Okay, the next year I chose was 1974. So again, I go back to my data for 1974, there were 791 birds. So for that year, um, I'm gonna come up, it's halfway between mm, 500 and 1,000, a little closer to 1,000. 
So I'm going to put my line about right here for that year. Sorry, there we go. Okay, we'll do one more on this graph. 1981. So for 1981, there was 1,188. Pretty close to 1,200. So for 1981, Mm, doesn't go to 1500 but it's more than a thousand so I'm gonna put my line about here and color that in now scientists today of course have computers that do this for them but it's good to learn how a bar graph is created and I think you'll be surprised to see how the population of eagles goes up when you finish this graph. So you can do one of these graphs at home. I'm going to show you one other kind of graph for the other data that you'll have tomorrow. We also have something that says nesting bald eagle data. And this is consecutive. It starts in 1986 and goes through 2014. And it shows how many nesting or active bald eagle nests that there are for each of those years, starting with nine and going all the way up to, well, up in the 300s. Okay. This is called a line graph. You're not making bars for this one. You're just putting points on the graph. I think you'll remember how we did this. So um, again, I, I labeled my graph, line graph, nesting eagles, or you could put nests, active nests. On the side here, we're going to write number of nests and on the bottom of course are the years okay so i started it out with 1986 and we went through 1980-93 you can keep going if you um, might need to get a second piece of paper over here to continue all those years but with a a line graph, all we need to do is put a point on. So for 1986, there were nine nests. Um, here I chose to go by 20s so that I could fit them all on this page. So nine, of course, is not even halfway to 20. So we'll make a line about, mm, I'll say here. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. I just started to do bar graph again. That's not what I wanted to do. But just put a point at number nine. Now for 1987, there were 12. A little more than halfway. There we go. See, teachers make mistakes too, all the time. All right, for 1988, 18. So we're almost up to 20 now. Nineteen eighty-nine, there were twenty. So we can put a point right at twenty. Now, when you're all done with your points, and there will be lots of points, then you can use your ruler if you like to, or you can just connect them with your pen. Now this is called a line graph, obviously, because it turns into a line. And it also shows a lot of data at a glance. And that's why scientists like to use graphs, because you can get a feeling for the data if things are going up or going down or what's happening. And so that is a very, very quick lesson on making a graph. And I'm sure your parents can help you with this, too. Um, there is a third sheet with questions based on the information that you graphed. So I hope you enjoy this and keep watching those Eagle Cams. I'll send you a link to another one tomorrow. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.